this is a Prustian. Welcome back to the Outer Worlds. We are about to go into here to do a thing for a reason I no longer remember. Oh, right. I have to find the smuggled cargo. Cassie says, look for somebody. Is that what that's for? Benton, you one of the new workers? Me? A lost tourist? Wait, I don't care. Just don't knock anything over. There's a package I'm looking for. Came from the Rat King. Do you know where it is? Sure do. Why are you interested in it? You authorized? Not that I care, but something untoward happens, it'll be my ass on the line. Um, oh man. Well, I will, um, I'll bribe. It's only a thousand bits. I've got, like, lots of bits. Right, slug boss, a bit cart sends his regards. Oh yeah, I love that guy. You're square. Don't know if anyone will care about whatever Zind is going missing, but I sure don't. Okay. Cool, so I guess I could have just gone in there directly instead of bribing, but you know what? Restricted sections make me nervous. <laughs> I know they shouldn't, but they do. Hello, drone. Did I ever look inside here? Oh, those are the public bathrooms. I did look inside there. Okay, Cassidy, Cassidy, Cassidy. Oh, right. You're back, I see. Hope the law hasn't caught on to what you're doing. Law meaning authorities, that is, not the forces running the universe. I've got the cargo. What's next? No complications? Grand. The recipient is Joseph Dempsey. He runs the Eridanos Dry Goods and Sundry. Uh, what'd you get arrested for, anyway? This is gonna sound a little stupid, but I got a thing about mechanicals. Don't like the way they move or the sounds they make. Gives me the creeps. I was drinking with Dash in the cantina when a funny-looking one trotted up beside us. Seemed like it was some kind of monster. So I started yelling, banging on it. Don't know what happened next, but I think it involved another mechanical. I passed right out then, and when I woke back up, I was here. Not the most graceful thing I've ever done. No. All right. Yeah, what's no next? No complications? That's fine. One delivery coming up. It is a lot of legwork. Okay, where's my waypoint? Dry goods. Okay. I was going to say, I think that was around the corner. Yeah. There we go. Here you go, Joseph Dempsey. Welcome back. The Eridano's dry goods and sundry is just as standard and unremarkable as when you left it. I see. Uh, <laughs> I've got a shipment of something for you. A shipment, you say? The only shipment I'm expecting is 100 pounds of salt tuna a week from now. And I certainly don't expect it to be brought by an inspector. I'm... <laughs> I see. What's an inspector? I'm just a healer delivery person. This is an... I, I don't know if he likes the boneless sprout... I don't know if he knows this passcode. I'm gonna sound like a right... Oh... Uh, uh, these are quality goods, if you catch my meaning. I learn about secret codes in my off time. For fun. It's never anything that I actually need to use, mind. Hmm. Perception, intelligence, or persuade. These are all interesting. Um... Uh, you know, I think I'm going to go with perception. Drop the act. You already know why I'm here. What you want to know is what I've bought. Playing dumb didn't dissuade you, huh? You're pretty sharp and correct. Follow me to the back. Ooh, the back. So 
Sweet. Oh my god. All right. So, as you can see, this actually ain't the most standard and unremarkable general store this side of Halcyon. Welcome Shock. to my black market. Whatever <laughs> you're here for. Weapons, information, contraband, cane and ointment. I've got it. Sorry for the frosty reception. Had to make sure you weren't with the constable. <laughs> but seeing how you're a freelancer, I hope I ain't got nothing to worry about. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> what an asshole move. Uh, nice place you got here. Can I peruse your wares? Regular wares? Sure. Currently waiting on my next black market shipment. So come back in a bit if you want to see those. Let me take that package off your hands, whatever the case. Here's your pay. Good doing business with you, especially seeing how you didn't take this to the constable. Would have been a mighty pain in my tail end. You are welcome. Since I went through all the work to bring it to you, can I see what's in the box? See? No. But I might tell you what's in it, so long as it's nothing proprietary, volatile, or breathing. Let's have a little look. Contraband weapon parts, a few chemicals for the crafting of high explosives. All fairly standard. Oh, and a canister of trimethyl sulfoxide. Where dimethyl sulfoxide is good at keeping folks in stasis, trimethyl sulfoxide <laughs> is nice for helping refrigerators run. Useful stuff. <laughs> All right. Nice. Well, I'm not going to steal your stuff. I can only assume that is stealing. Yeah. Oh, hey. What is... Ha! Whoops, wrong button. And we're stalking. And we're stalking. We are stalking. We're stalking right through... Wow. Huh. So this goes downstairs and out. I feel like this is like if you want to come back later and steal the stuff. Huh. Um, you could sneak in when Dempsey's not in there. But like, I don't need to steal that stuff. I have a lot of stuff, you guys. And I have enough like good stuff. Okay, so that is where that ladder goes. Good to know. All right, what have I got on my list now? Return to Dash. Ah, right. I should do that. He's going to be down here, I think. All taken care of, no problems. Hope the job's coming along well. No sign of the constable, which really makes me more nervous. A one package of questionable goods delivered and signed for. Excellent. Let's divvy up the payment three ways and we can consider this matter settled. Um. Eh, here you go. Thank the law. Should be just enough to get Cass out of her damn cell. I guess breaking even is better than leaving with your partner in the clink. You might not be Hawthorne, but you can sure resolve a problem like he could. Maybe better. Thanks again for all your help. You're welcome. Okay. You know what? I was going to try to find, like, a workbench, but I do not have any earthly idea where a nearby workbench is. Oh, but I do know there were people I need to talk to here. I need to talk to Cedric. Question is, where is Cedric's office? Okay. So it's either around here or it's on a different place. And that's telling me to go, you know, like back through the door and go to a different region. I'm not sure. No, it is here. Okay. I thought he probably was. Harbor Master Office, yeah. Okay, I have not been in here yet. That makes sense. Oh, yeah, because I tried coming in and she was like, You have any reason? Appointment. Ah, uh, good enough. Hello, I need to speak with Seth. Yeah, that's why you're here. Appointment. <laughs> 
Can I make an appointment for right now? Hm. Not entirely out of the question. Convince me. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just going to go upstairs. I could put in a good word with Cedric about his incredibly helpful secretary. Wouldn't mind a new bolt or pistol. I've fired mine so many times the tips nearly fell off. Let's give Mr. Kincannon a ring. Mr. Kincannon, got a person of interest here to see you. Maybe they've got business. That sounds like our inspector. Please, send her up. That's right. You're welcome. I will go up in just a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, I think I've even been through there before. And was like, dang it, stealing. But I don't think I'd actually come up here. Hello. Hello, you. First. Uh. Okay, okay, okay. Huh. Right, Why, if talk. it isn't the inspector, I was hoping you'd swing by. Here for my alibi, I assume. Uh, <laughs> for the nonsense outside, that's nah, fine. His secretary seems like a cool lady. I am. Let's hear it. Let's see. That night, I was... Ah, torturing Elliot Nasser for information on missing cargo. That was a messy one. Didn't break until nearly noon the next day. Can you imagine? When you say break... His spine, specifically. If you'd like to know the exact vertebrae, I'm afraid I don't know. I can tell you he's quite dead. Not that it matters much. Mm. You'd be a fool to believe me, regardless of what I told you. People lie. And I am. Incriminatingly. People. So your alibi is that you were busy murdering someone else. Which, as I said, you should not trust. If it helps, however, you might consider pursuing not my means, but my motive. Why in the name of the architect would I kill Halcyon Helen? She was making me a fortune. So her death is in that loss I'm for I'm considering a line of commemorative merchandise. Still, that's nothing compared to what Helen would have made us in the long run. I'd offer to assist you in your work, but I have a mystery of my own to solve, I'm afraid. Take it the guy you tortured wasn't the source of your missing cargo, then. Oh, Elliot stole from me, all right. Alas, you're right in that his was a singular, isolated incident. And as such, does not resolve a concerning broader trend. Items are disappearing from slug storage and processing warehouse. The thefts began a week before Helen's unfortunate death, and there have been more instances since. <laughs> before you ask, I know the difference between cargo going missing and cargo going missing. This is the latter. What's the connection to Helen's murder? I'm not sure. I'm only confident there is one. That the thefts began mere days before Helen's untimely demise is an extraordinary coincidence. I'm not a man who believes in happenstance, Inspector. I do not trust it. Hmm. I guess I can't guarantee the theft isn't related I to the I certainly murder. wouldn't take that bet. Regardless, this will be fun. You out in the field, chasing down leads. Me, scheming in my office, preparing to unspeakably mangle the perpetrator. <laughs> I like to commit my own horrific bodily harm things. Yeah, whoever's going to jail, to you. You do recall, Inspector, that I'm not to be trusted? But certainly, whatever you say. You'll want to speak with Ella Tinsley, the warehouse foreman. I've cleared her as a suspect myself, but should she refuse to cooperate, shoot her. <laughs> no, I'm joking. If she won't cooperate, tell me and I will shoot her. And do feel free to search uh -huh. my office for clues while you're here. Don't hold back on my account. Sounds like a plan. Okay, before I get started... Was there something else you wanted to discuss? I don't know. 
out. Oh, that nonsense. I'd like an expl explanation for us. Tact outside, but that wasn't slug. That was other people. Bar fight? Drunk raptodons? Black hole birdie practicing his hacking in the middle of the street. Stop me if it's one of those, or I'll just keep guessing. I'd run it with some slug agents. <laughs> Sounds as though you've already sorted it out yourself. Yeah, it's true. Uh, how did they get their hands on slug gear? Slug uniforms do seem to go missing from the hotel laundry with impressive regularity. Easy enough for someone to nick a few. Now ask yourself this. Why would anyone give thugs slug gear and send them after you? That is the question. Um, <clears throat> wants to pit me against slug. Right again, Inspector. But I can't fathom who would benefit from tarnishing my reputation like that. Can you? Uh. <laughs> Gosh, could it be the administrator? How dumb do you think I am? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult your intelligence. I'm used to working with Lou, you see? I hope you won't hold it against me. So, as you've deduced, I did not send anyone from Slug after you, nor is it likely they assigned themselves that task. Still, I am sorry for the trouble, Inspector. With that matter settled, is there anything else you'd like my assistance with? Why does Ludovico hate? The original hey. incident? Well, I made him an offer he should have refused. Did you put a severed raptor on head in his bed? Now he regrets doing business an with you? An excellent deduction, Inspector. Our combative relationship stems from paperwork, mundanely enough. Rizzo's contracted sublight to construct the Eridanos atmospheric complex. Had Lou wanted Rizzo's to retain full control of Eridanos, he shouldn't have skimmed the revised contract I sent him. Lou's an administrator, for law's sake. I thought he would adore all the fine print I added. Aha. Uh -huh. That's terrible, but also hilarious. It was all perfectly legal, too, which irked Lou to no end. My power grab, as Lou called it, planted the seed of hatred. And Lou, obsessed with what should have been, has made sure to water it daily with his bitterness and anger. Hmm. Uh, I'm sure all the sniping you do at each other helps. Oh, I'm not an innocent party here. Uh, please don't think I'm claiming to be. Provoking Lou may be fun, but I do have my reasons. Slug's control of Eridanos is a crucial step in my long-term plans for Sublight. The board needs to see irrefutable proof we are a respectable, legitimate business. Huh. Yeah, I'm not so sure. Why do you care so much what the board thinks? Because one day soon, Sublight will obtain a seat on it. Mm, Meanwhile, our it. dear administrator is still laser focused on old slice, which can be a nuisance. He's grown increasingly desperate to catch Slug with our hand in the proverbial cookie jar as of late, convinced we're involved in less than legal business opportunities. Well, aren't you? I was going to say, which of course. I wish I could wink, but it always looks like I have something caught in my eye. I have more questions about Helen. Very well. Did you have many dealings with Helen? A few. Helen was strangely curious about the private business operations around Eridanos. She said it was role research, but how much business know-how does one actor truly need for an action picture? I also arranged to have Helen supplied with magpix, bypass shunts, and other hacking tools. She wanted to buy in bulk. Hmm, interesting. Did it strike you as suspicious? That she bought in bulk? Not particularly. It takes time to learn to use tools like that deftly. I wonder, did she run out of time in the end? Hmm. If you didn't kill her, any idea on who would want her dead? That is the question, isn't it, Inspector? Yep. Tell me, do you really believe Helen's death was a mere crime of passion? Or one of petty career jealousy? Hmm? No. Uh, 
clearly you don't. This murder is bigger than Miss Helen's personal life. Bigger than her latest moving picture. Yeah. I'm listening. Her actions in the time leading up to her death do not align with those of an actor on Eridanos solely to promote Spectrum Brown. Stay sharp, mm -hmm. Inspector. Now is not the time to lose focus. Because whoever did kill Helen is not going to come forward so easily. Yeah, I agree. You know more than you're telling me. I might. I just might. Your point, Inspector? That you should tell me. Uh, you're getting away with less than you now think. Now that is interesting. I suppose we'll see, won't we? Be very careful, Inspector. I'd very much like to see you still around for the grand finale. Whenever it comes. Whatever shape it takes. <laughs> it's all I wanted One to One moment, if you please, Inspector. I've answered your questions. I believe it's my turn to ask you a question now. What sure. or who made you decide to investigate me? It was one of my quest steps. I assume it was Administrator Ludovico. Was it now? Thank you for your honesty, Inspector. Thanks very much indeed. Now then, did you need anything else? Excuse me? Okay, so... Let's investigate. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. This copy of TK contains 142 fewer pages than a standard copy. The missing pages were likely removed to create sufficient space for the hidden listening device inside. Huh. Engineering. Okay, short-range transmission capabilities. Receiver must be somewhere nearby. He figured that out just by looking at it? Huh. We ought to talk shop one of these days. I know, right? Inspector, please consider speaking into the device in order to trace the transmission and reveal the receiver's location. <laughs> Speak into the bug. Moo. Poor woolly cow impression transmitted. Transmission analysis complete. While the precise location of the receiver could not be pinpointed, it has been narrowed down to a smaller, approximate range. Excellent. How long has this been here? Analysis inconclusive. However, there is a minor accumulation of dust particles present on the book's uppermost surface. The area, area within area. a 0 0.5 meter radius of the book possesses a dust coating comprised of at least twice the number of particles. It's not very dusty then, must have been placed fairly that recently. That is highly likely, Inspector. What's that you found? No, wait, don't tell me. Let's save it for the big reveal once you've solved the case. Assuming I solve this case. Okay, so that's gonna go talk to other people. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. A cursory fingerprint analysis shows this display case was recently opened or closed. Yeah, the gun on the bottom looks special. Has it been customized? Confirmed. The grip has been modified for a specific wielder, most likely the rifle's owner. Additionally, the plasma rifle sights appear to have been realigned to better accommodate a shooter with slight myopia in one eye. Analyze the fingerprints the further. The fingerprints belong to... Cedric Kincannon. I mean, that would make sense. <laughs> oh, right. Obviously. <laughs> Though you think, it's a little surprising Cedric hasn't cauterized his fingerprints to avoid detection. <laughs> I mean, I'm maybe. I'm admiring my rifle. Had it custom fitted by a woman on Monarch. Indeed. Okay. Oh, <gasps> I almost missed it. Halsey and Helen commits regicide. Oh, God. Some hours have passed since Helen's entry into the dissident hideout. She had fought in a small number of slugmen, destroying the abomination in singular fashion, and met several employees from many corporations, each forcibly taken by the dissidents for use as test subjects. Once freed captive, one such freed captive, who had called himself Hephaestus Harry, had accompanied her as she descended into the lair of the dissident queen. Helen exchanged only a few words with
be able to exchange no others, as the man now lay in a bloody heap at the foot of the dissident queen, who, Helen now saw, was not a person, but a tremendous mutant slug. The dissidents, who had apparently been guarding her, were themselves quite dead and lay in various stages of mastication throughout the room. The queen feasted on Harry's remains, but as Helen stepped forward, the monster wiggled around to face her. A true queen for a gang of parasites, Helen shouted. The dissident queen reared back, opening its mandibles wide, and gave an inhuman shriek that shook the very foundation of the base. Yeah, I would not go anywhere with Helen. Like, anybody who walks around with her gets murdered. Somehow. Okay. Alright, well, I'm gonna go talk to person at the base. Oh, there was a ladder over here. Let me check. Question Ella Tinsley. That's right. Find the receiver. That's probably the closer one. Oh, they're both not too far. Is this one on this level? Receiver location. Yeah, let's do that first. Is it going to be in the bathrooms? Oh my god. It is, isn't it? Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Transmission endpoint discovered. The receiver in this book matches the transmitter to the listening device found in Cedric's office. It's somewhat grime covered. Yeah. Any clues as to who put it here? Due to the high level of foot traffic in this area, this unit is unable to determine who placed the device. How long has this been on the ground? Based on the accumulated mix of sludge and detritus, the receiver has been present since approximately a week before Helen's death. Take the receiver. Ew. Does this mean I can listen in to Cedric now, though? Oh, uh, I was like, is she inside this restricted area? <laughs> no. But I was able to get through quickly, which is good. I don't want to murder anybody. How am I doing on space? Ooh, I'm going to go sell some stuff. Workbench. Okay. Hi oh. there. Sorry, this area is off limits to port vision. Oh, wait half a second. You're the inspector. I am. Sorry about that. I'll buzz you right in. Thank you. Ah, that's where you were. Hey, you think they keep any spare parts down here? Just wondering. I mean, maybe. Another workbench. Yeah, normally when I'm in a place like this, I'm like restricted and undercover. It's kind of nice to be able to walk right through as I spot restricted areas. Just need the right sublight ID card. It'll be fine. What is this? Stealing. Fine. It's okay. I still have too much stuff. Oh. Mm. You look cool. You're the inspector, aren't you? Boskin Cannon said you'd be by about the cargo that's been going missing. Gosh, this is so neat. A real-life inspector. What's that like? Have you solved any mysteries yet? Ever had to shoot a suspect? Uh... <laughs> I call it closing a case and so that's part of my job. Um... 
Have you never shot someone? Well, yeah, but they weren't suspects. <laughs> right, so the missing cargo. How can I help your investigation? I don't know. It's the culprit been stealing. That's the weird part. There's no pattern, far as I can tell. The thefts don't make sense. I ask you, who would steal a handful of Spacer's Choice Savers so dull they can barely cut mud, but leave the spectrum black? Mm. Mm. Who'd be desperate enough to want to steal a Spacer's Choice Saber, full stop? It's a good question. Sounds like our perp's not fencing the yeah, stolen goods. Yeah, probably not. Hmm. No one's dumb enough to think Spacer's Choice Sabers are worth half a damn. Then there's the most recent theft. Five boxes of pens and a couple of sodas. I can't decide which one's sadder. Hmm. It's both. Both are sadder. Uh, yeah. I wish they hadn't stolen the blue pens. We can never keep enough of those in stock. Who has access to the cargo? Everyone here at Freight Storage and Processing, for a start. Thing is, the cargo is going missing before the shipments even get to the warehouse. Best I can figure, it's probably getting lost in the shipping yard. Hmm. As for who has access there, Benton Chan, he's the shipping yard manager. He told me it's mainly just the loading automex that handle cargo. Maybe there's a problem with the automex or Benton have anything to do with it. I'll ask about the automex. Could be. Those things will break if you so much as look at them funny. That's Benton's area, but don't bother asking him for help. Last time I asked him to check the automex, the whole head told me he couldn't help because he was dead. <laughs> I was dead at the time. Hard to argue with that. <laughs> yeah, especially when he kept shouting, dead people can't hear anything at me. <laughs> On the bright side, I'm sure the dead won't mind if you decide to check those loading automex out yourself. Indeed. Hopefully, you're mechanically inclined. I am, and so is Parvati. The idea why was someone would want to bug Cedric's office. Maybe they're keen on cashing out and want to go as painfully as possible. I don't know. Buskin Cannon's office is where he holds most of his meetings with important folks like Miss Helen. Just about all negotiations happen in his office, too. Vendor yeah. pricing, major purchase orders, rentals for construction projects, you name it enough for now oh before i forget i figured you might want to access my terminal so i had I a spare key card made it's all yours thank you anything on there i should know about oh, no i forgot to delete all of those incriminating messages i sent about which cargo to steal nah i do have a list of cargo that's gone missing though if that helps any it does and she is refreshingly prepared it's delightful Incoming from Chan. Pen soda? I'll never understand where you get the energy to care about this shit, Tinsley. I don't know what to tell you. Pretty much the only ones that handle any cargo are the auto mechanicals. Come look at them if you want, but even I have better things to do than help you exact justice on a void damn pen thief. Missing cargo again, just random shit. We lost five boxes of blue pens and a couple of purple berry sodas. I can't see a pattern. We got all these dead eye Mark II's the other day, and not one of them went missing, so it's not like the skimmer's going for the most expensive cargo. Far as I can tell, shit's getting skimmed for the crates before they make it inside freight storage and processing. Could someone would be breaking into the shipping yard at night, you think? Uh, return to incoming messages. Ella, to, tell whoever snuck into the shipping yard and messed with the loading automax to go to hell, will you? These things break down enough as it is, so I'm damned if I'm going to haul cargo around myself. In that case, there must be a problem with the automatic max. I'll swing by when I can and see what's malfunctioning besides you. Haha. Ha. Okay, but you have to admit it's a little funny to see an auto mechanical da dance. Not my fa fault they're so damn easy to hack. Seriously, a primal could do it. Here's a list of what's going so far. At least everything I've noticed. Purpleberry punch. Blue pens. Cacao milk, 
small portrait images of Spencer Woolrick. Additional shipping instructions handle with care. Law, I'd, would I like to fold these in half? Cranial protectors, protective clothing with safety harness. Lemon slap, chaser, spacer's choice sabers. Blasting agent, dark matter bars, nanner spank. Who would steal Nanner Spank, let alone pictures of Spencer Woolrich? If the thief ain't skimming from Cedric in Canon of all people, I'd figure they were doing it for kicks and giggles. Yeah, very strange. Okay, what is 17 meters that way, though? Is that the outside? I think that's the door to go out. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't know if the plot thickens, but it certainly gets more confused. I honestly really have no idea who the culprit is. Alright, this time I'm going to go around the restricted section. Go talk to this guy again. Oh. Where are you, bud? Oh. Oh, the auto mechanicals. Inspector, this loading auto mechanicals programming does not match factory default settings. The standard defensive protocol has been modified to include an additional trigger. Huh. Define standard defensive protocol. For type K-19 cargo transport auto mechanicals, defensive protocol is triggered by attempted interference with cargo or its transportation or attempted destruction of the unit. Once triggered, defensive protocol targets the perpetrator and applies lethal force until the target has been deceased for a minimum of three minutes. <laughs> uh, identify the new trigger. There is a directive in place to initiate defensive protocol should an unsanctioned data log installed in this auto mechanical be removed. Hmm. Scan for signs of unusual behavior. Slowed auto mechanical maintenance records indicate this particular unit is frequently reported as out of position or missing for periods of time. Let's have a look inside the auto mech. Loading auto mechanical unit K14 is fully operational at 99% power. Please designate the cargo to be transported and its destination. How can this auto mechanical assist you? Uh, yeah, Parvati, you think you could disable the failsafe? You got it, Cap. Thank you, Parvati. Failsafe successfully disabled. Kill mode deactivated. That's good. That's real good. Oh, I would not have been good enough. View the most... Oh my god. Mash all the buttons and hope one of them does what you want. View the most recently added data log. Ejecting data log 17C. View the most recently added data log. To skip random cargo every one to four days. Instruction to seal specific package 6875. What was in shipment 6875? Apologies. This unit does not have access to cargo inventory lists. Good. Unit entering standby mode. Have a nice day. Okay. Well, I feel like I know someone who would have access to cargo manifests. Probably more than one person. And they are pointing me, it appears, to Cedric. Inspector! To what do I owe the pleasure? I've solved your cargo skimming issue. Ooh, I love this part. The big reveal! So tell me, what happened? I love the big reveal, too. Don't get too excited. I don't know who the culprit well, is. that is disappointing. Still, so you said you've determined how the theft is occurring? <laughs> 
somebody bypassed the loading mech security system and rewired them to skim random goods. Damn, you're good at engineering Hacking the automex. So that was our skimmer's game. But why? Everything that was stolen has seemed random. I certainly see no pattern. Yeah, that's the point. The theft was random except for a single shipment. So, our culprit had something specific they wished to acquire and used the random theft as a smokescreen. I must say, Inspector, you've done excellent work on this case. But then that just leaves how the culprit <laughs> knew where their true target would be, or indeed, that slug would soon possess it. <laughs> oh my god. It dramatically slammed the receiver down on the desk. You have quite a flair for the dramatic, Inspector. Hell Am yeah, I, I right do. to think what you found in my office earlier was the other half of this listening device? That's right. Damn straight. Whoever this device belongs to, that's our culprit. Not quite, Inspector. That listening device belongs to me. I lent oh. it to Halcyon Helen to assist her with role research. Oh. Oh. She used it to research slug shipments instead. Unbelievable. I helped her. Gave her whatever she needed. I thought we were doing each other a good turn. Hmm. No good deed unpunished, eh, Cedric? This is a betrayal, Inspector. I do not take betrayal lightly. Helen should consider herself very lucky indeed that she is already among the dead. And that some other bastard beat me to putting her in the ground. Yeah, but like, I mean, I say this, but like, he doesn't have this motive until now. Nonetheless, dangerous talk for a man under investigation for Helen's murder. Halcyon Helen is already dead. Yeah. If I'd known Helen was stealing from me, I may very well have killed her, or had her killed. Alas, I did not. I suppose not. Again, I appreciate your assistance with this matter, and with a larger mystery at hand. I wish you luck with your investigation, though I doubt you'll need it. You'll find Helen's murderer. I'm confident of that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must find a way to excise my anger that minimally damages my business empire. I expect it will involve shooting quite a lot of guns. So that is interesting. So Helen hacked the auto mechanical and bugged his office. Okay, so I need to go to Ludovico for both of these. Um, which I believe I will do the next time. I'm just gonna fast travel back here. If it, if it lets me. Alright, yeah. I am just gonna save here. And next time I will meet you at Ludovico's office where I turn in this stuff. We'll see how that goes.